tutorial, we will discuss the challenges, process, and solutions provided using Revision Effects plugins along with 360 and drone footage. The objective of this project was to cut a 60 second commercial spot with a moving camera, GoPro Karma Drone, and 360 video, GoPro Omni in this case. The pano is 4K, camera B, and the drone shot is 2.7K, camera A. But my setup is all at 720p for rendering speed and because this is a tutorial. Process. Two guys, when to drive and when to shoot. Google Maps to find the winding road and Premiere Pro to edit and revision effects plugins to bring this all together. Let's see the rough cut first and then we'll talk about some challenges that presented themselves. Our objective is to do an establishing shot from the 360 pano followed by the drone shot and then come back to the 360 pano when the car passes by. We're just running through the rough cut here and you can see some notes describing what the issues are. I will come back to each issue and show you the solution after we see the rough cut. First of all, the rough cut is longer than one minute. Camera A has Twixter applied at two times slow-mo, but it seems like it should have the speed animated from two times to one time as we pan over the trees. Also, it will work better with the music I chose for this spot as the music speeds up here. We can jump into our Premiere Pro project and take a look at the elements. We have sequence one, which is the edit. We can take a look at pano sequence. This is our 360 footage. And you can see that it wasn't quite long enough, so I looped it. I also have the drone footage, which is GoPro 532. If I go back to sequence one and double click on drone footage, I'll be in the GoPro 532 footage, and I can go to the effect controls. This is where I applied Twixter, and it's currently two times slower overall speed, or 50%. I can animate that now so it's 50% at the first keyframe and 100% where I want it to go back to real time. While I'm in the project, I'm going to add the audio that I chose and shorten the whole spot to 1794 frames, which is 60 seconds. The next issue was that in this shot, camera A was animated with a pan and scan to mock up framing, but it really should have been done with DFish because it's GoPro fisheye footage. So we can go back to our Premiere Pro project and to sequence one and double click on drone sequence. We turn off reframe and we can apply DFish. The warp amount of 39% seems about right here and we scale it a bit so we can cover the whole frame. At the next cut, I tried to match this bush, but it's difficult as we happen to face the sun right at the point where our drone shot is, but it's not a good idea to cut there. So since that was never gonna happen, especially because the drone also makes an appearance, I decided to take a whole new approach and just cut after the sun goes through the bushes and cut to a closer up shot of the Audi coming around the corner. We animate the camera with a few keyframes, animating for the longitude and latitude controls in relens from lat long, which was applied to the 360 movie inside the pano sequence, back here in the sequence one project. 
Now we can see how this new cut looks after we've addressed all the issues that came up from the first rough cut.